Hey guys, a little while ago I had this idea of mounting a GoPro to a Cuban yo-yo. I tried many attempts with different mounts that GoPro makes and some other companies make. Unfortunately, none of them worked. Pretty much they got tangled up or the, the line got tangled up in those mounts. So I'm here trying to create my own which I determine the best way to do it is actually put it inside the area where you have your hand. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna need. Just kinda of got a bunch of miscellaneous things right now. I got the Cuban yo-yo blank, which of course that's gonna be the essential. I have my drill. I have a drill bit, which it's 532 if I'm not mistaken. And that should be the equivalent to size six bolt, which I have a couple of different sizes of the size six bolt there. I have the two inch and then the one and a half inch. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna need. I got a couple of washers, a couple of lock nuts, and just a couple of regular nuts, and then some uh, cap nuts. So like I said, that's gonna be playing it by ear. I do have countersink. I do have the uh, a leveler. I do have what's called a GoPro ball joint buckle. Uh, basically it's, you get articulation 360 degrees with that thing, it's magnificent. And then of course, just a standard GoPro mount, which that's, you know, has the 3M adhesive on there, which probably, I'm not gonna use that because I'm planning to use something better. The other item is what you see right there is it's epoxy sculpt. Uh, this is actually really, really cool. If you're not familiar with it, it's a part A and a part B. You mix it together and then basically it takes like 24 hours to dry. And then when it dries, it's like hard as a rock. So with that, I shouldn't have to use the 3M sticker on the bottom and then Basically with the bolts and everything, what I plan on doing is once I have the that GoPro mount leveled to where I want to have it, I'm gonna put or drill two holes in the mount and then put the you know use the countersink, put the bolts through, and then just cap it off. And then I might end up using some epoxy sculpt just to cover up whatever uh, nuts I use at the end there. This build is going to take longer than a day just because the main part is the epoxy sculpt. It's got a cure. Like I said, that does take 24 hours at least. So do a little bit of that and then basically I'll come back the next day and I'll work on some more. When working with epoxy sculpt, you want to measure equal amount of both parts before mixing. After both parts are thoroughly mixed, it's actually recommended to wait approximately five minutes so the epoxy sculpt is easier to work with. Here I'm using a leveler, however, due to the curvature of the Cuban yo-yo, I was unable to get an accurate reading, and in the end, I just winded up eyeballing it. Later, when the camera wasn't rolling, I doubled the amount of the epoxy sculpt that is seen in this portion of the video. Even though epoxy sculpt bonds to most surfaces, it did not bond to the surface of the Cuban yo-yo. This actually worked in my benefit because I was able to remove the piece from the previous day and work with it much easier. After drilling holes in the GoPro mount plate, I came across my first true challenge of this build, which was drilling holes in the Cuban yo-yo that lined up perfectly with that of the mount plate. Here I attempted to make an indentation in the Cuban yo-yo to serve as a guide for when I began drilling, however this did not work, even though I tried this numerous times. 
this proved to be the most difficult part of this build. However, in the end, I just eyeballed everything. By using a countersink, it allows the surface to be completely flush when you use a flat head bolt. After using the countersink, I start building the foundation for the camera mount by using epoxy sculpt. When securing the nuts, I thought of a couple of different ways of how to do it, but the simplest way proved to be the most efficient. This portion of the video is strictly operator error because I was unable to hold the nut firmly with the pliers while I attempted to tie in the bolt. After the bolts are secured, all that's left is to add epoxy sculpt. Here you want to make sure you take your time to smooth out the epoxy sculpt because you want to make sure it looks like nothing was added to the Cuban yo-yo. Immediately after the camera wasn't rolling, I attached the GoPro ball joint buckle. Pretty much everything looks like it's pretty solid, the mount. It hardened last night, and all that's really left is to go ahead and spool this. I'm not going to bore you all to death with that, but basically when you're spooling with the yo-yo, one of the tricks that you can do is you actually put some electrical tape and then you you know you put that down and then you go ahead and you start spooling. The main purpose for the electrical tape is just so your line doesn't just spin around. So I'm gonna go do that and then, like I said, all I gotta do is test it out, see how it works. Stay tuned. I just picked up some shiners and I'm about to give this Cuban yo-yo a whirl. I'm heading over to the lake right now. The main purpose of this portion of the video is to test the GoPro mount and to see how effectively it works. Hopefully it works as envisioned, however I'll let you be the judge. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a beast. About to release this mammoth peacock bass back into the water. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got a big one. Oh, there's another one! 